here at Blue Move Dam. We're gonna try and catch some fish. This is the bait we're gonna use to catch carp at the dam. First we got lezant oozers and gum tree mealies and chop chop pole dip. The bottom hook, we're gonna hook one mealy. The back. And the top hook, we are going to hook one legend user floaty. I'm going to put it around feet on the way. When you're done to put on the ground feet, just put on a little dip. Three. Alright, the bait we used was FX. It's a nice fruity smell that it has. We're just gonna put one because I'm only fishing with one hook. Put our ground feet on, and the dip was quattro. Guys, we have finally a fish on. It was a long wait, we struggled to catch something, but we're now on. It's a little bit dark. It's not that big. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna go and let the fish. Water is luckily not that cold. Nice pop. Okay. This is a beautiful little cop. Three. Okay, now we're gonna release him. We got one gum tree. Millipet and a dough and the ground feet is on the sinker and the dip is almond supreme Come on. We got another fish on. We got a fish on. Okay. Yeah, shit.
Nice little pop, better than the first ones. There's no warpy lane. Nice pop. I'm gonna video. One sweet corn mealy. You must crush the tip of the corn so that the flavor can leak out. We got another cop, hopefully it's a cop. The, on the bite hook was a gum tree corn with a sweet dough that is on top of it with the ground feet and then we have almond supreme dip. So hopefully this one comes out. You know. Boom. Okay, now we're gonna show the bite I used to catch that fish. Just like that. With that sweet dough in the tail. And I'm gonna put the ground. Now I'm gonna put some almond supreme. This is homemade, but you can go buy from Supercast. They're very good quality brands. Just like that. And a little bit on the bait. Just for good luck.
we got a nice fish on and see how it looks. Man. This man forgot to loosen his track. Fish arm on his rod. Look at that stand there. Luckily, I saw that there will be no rod in his hand. Why do they say everybody makes mistakes? It's a nice little car. He almost stole the expensive fishing rod. So next day we have to first fish off. Then more sweet dough on the back. Then some banana dip. And almond supreme. We got another fish on. So this morning we were using the same baits as yesterday, but we burnt the fish burnt wanted to bite. So we changed the bait now that fish is biting again. Thankfully. We are telling it. It's a better cop. Probably the biggest one of the trip. It's a nice cop, one-handed. To scoop a one-handed cop that size is not easy. Okay guys, we are using very big hooks because the tiny hooks just ripped out of the fish's mouth. We use bad hook. It's a big hook. Look at that hook set. It won't rip out. Do we have a fish on? It's a small one. It looks like a teeny weeny peeny fish. But any fish is a fish. If it has scales and fins, it's a fish. Where is this fish going? The damn wall. Hey people, here he comes. Here you can see. That was a nice scoop. My <laughs> okay, we're on here. I hope the editor cuts that part out. Or he's gonna be lazy. The wind is bumping a bit. Hey, look at it. 
Oh. It's still the banana one. Okay guys, if he lifts his head up like that, he is not ready to be scooped. Okay, if he lifts his head up like that, he is, <laughs> he is not ready to be scooped, he's still green. Okay guys, if his head is up, he is ready to be scooped. Hey, you throw me my line, what is going on here? Come on you fish. Alright, um, yes, we got him. Fish is coming in. I don't think you can see the line. Show the rod so that people doesn't think we are making. Okay, guys, as you can see, this is a Daiwa crossfire rod. Its tip is very thin, it's like a toothpick. And as you can imagine, I can't throw very deep with this thing because it's short and slopped. Sloppy. Sloppy. A very tiny carp for this fish, or for this rod. But the fish is a fish, and it's quite a nice. A nice fish. But we have a fish on. It's a better fish. The spool is empty. Yes, there is the knot that is that knot. There is the knot that holds the spool. Double trouble. That one runs with the rail, and then this one runs with the rail. So, yeah, that's it. We are on with a cop. So, let's see if he comes out. Okay, we're on with double trouble again. He's on there, so let's hope both comes out. Okay, now let's see if those ones comes out. One year and there's the other one. Is there a ringtone for you folks?
it's not tired. The cop is closing in. This is not that big. Just get. Okay, we got a fish after a long wait. We just changed the bait and now we got a bite and a fish on. It's a nice fish, not that small, medium sized bug. Okay, we're on with another fish. Here's a nice turbo carp. Wait, still green. Now he's ready. There we go. Nice size. We got the first fish for the day. Nice little carp, not that small, not too big. Okay, we got the fish on. Now we're gonna go scoop them. I just caught my fish and they're still busy catching that fish and here's my both of my rod this one just caught a fish and then this one just run right we used to catch all the fish two pieces of plain floaties and a piece of white tail on top and the tip was paired by dip you want to see with this fish on that bloom of time Seems to be a nice one. Still running and running and running. It's close. Using a quite light line, 10 pounds or 5 kilo kgs line. And in the net it is. Okay, what do you have here? Copy, I hope so. Think so. Can be a yellow fish. So we got another double trouble. That man is on a fish too. I just both of the fish. I just caught this one. And my brother caught this one. We got another carp on. Feels like a better one. Or is just a small rod? This is that seven foot rod. It's a little bit short for this dam.
Or did they say coming in hot and blowing out snot? <laughs> Jonas coming in slow. Well, we got the third time a double trouble. There's the other fish, he's fighting. <laughs> 